I'm Sergeant Major Rodney Nevinger, and I'm the Command Senior Enlisted Leader for 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, America's Mall. You know, your EAS is going to be a, on a Wednesday or a Thursday. And if you can't see yourself that following morning not wearing this uniform, then it's too soon. When you go to re-enlist, no one is asking you to commit the next 30 years of your life. So if you don't have a plan or if you don't have a complete plan, it's okay to do four more years and buy yourself a little bit of decision-making space in order to develop that plan. Hey Marines, my name is Sergeant McGuire, the Marine Wing Communication Squadron 28 Career Planner. Today we'll be talking about special duty assignments, bonuses, permanent change of station orders, and timelines. As an STAT Marine, there are three primary special duty assignments you can serve on. You can serve on recruiting duty, where you will be tasked with finding and recruiting the next generation of qualified applicants to become Marines. As a drill instructor, your duty is to transform civilians into basically trained Marines. Next is Marine Security Guard Watchstander, where you'll be charged with security and safety of embassy personnel. If a Marine volunteers, they have a higher chance of successfully completing the SDA when compared to a HIS Marine. Historically, certain MOSs such as 7257, Air Traffic Control, 0621, Radio Operator, 7212, Low Altitude Air Defense Gunner, and plenty more can receive bonuses for re-enlisting. Certain lap moves, such as 0211, Counterintelligence, Human Intelligence, and 2336, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, and many more offer bonuses for lap moving. Marines who get issued permanent change of station orders may need to gain obligated service through re-enlistment or extension to execute. For more information, go to moradmin 064-23. You've re-enlisted before and know how to navigate the process. Now you have the ability to screen and encourage Marines that we want to stay in the Marine Corps. Those junior Marines need your guidance. They might be too scared to ask for help or they may not know what to ask. Be an involved leader and talk to them about their careers and future. You've gained knowledge, MOS proficiency, and leadership experience from your time in the Marine Corps. You have the opportunity to make a positive impact on the Marines around you and impart your knowledge on your junior Marines. The Marine Corps needs the right Marines on the job as we support forces on 2030. We can't replace experience, especially in transition communities like the AV-8B Harrier II and the FA-18 Hornet. Lead by example, continue to fight and help your fellow Marines do the same. Most Marines don't have a clear plan. Now, I think if you're in a situation where you're unsure what you want to do inside the Marine Corps or why you would want to stay inside the Marine Corps, I would say give it another chance. Give it another chance. Enlist for a couple more years. Go do something different. Ask for what you want, whether that's a duty station, whether you want to change your MOS, whether you want to go to a particular school, have an opportunity for deployment. The leader's responsibility is not to assume um, that young Marines and sailors are aware of how critical they are to the bigger picture, um, but to make it clear to young Marines how value, valuable they are and value added they are to, to what that organization is doing. Hey leaders, my name is Sar McGuire, the career planner for Marine Wing Communication Squadron 28. Today we'll be talking about your value to your Marines, STAT Marines, special duty assignments, bonuses, lateral moves, and timelines. Leaders, you're the first touch point with your Marines concerning their futures in the Marine Corps. You must screen and encourage the Marines we want to stay in the Marine Corps. Sit down with your Marines early and often and go over their opportunities and timelines. Familiarize yourself with the information and reach out to your unit career planner as a good resource. Retention goes beyond reenlistment. Part of retaining good Marines is acknowledging their hard work, their awards, meritorious promotions, and other means. So you probably heard the terms FTAP and STAP and wondered what the difference was. FTAP, standing for First Term Alignment Plan, is a Marine that is on their first contract. STAP, standing for Subsequent Term Alignment Plan, is a Marine that's re-enlisted at least once. 
Now let's talk about special duty assignments and its values and why it is important for you to know about the three main special duty assignments. The first being recruiting duty. As a recruiter, your Marines will be screening qualified candidates to become the next generation of Marines. Next is drill instructor. As a drill instructor, your duty is to transform civilians into basically trained Marines. Finally is Marine Security Guard Watchstander, where you'll be charged with safety and security of embassy personnel. The incentives for your Marines to complete an SDA include special pay and promotion opportunities. If a Marine volunteers, they have a higher chance of successfully completing the SDA when compared to a HIS Marine. Historically, certain MOSs such as 7257, Air Traffic Control, 0621, Radio Operator, 7212, Low Altitude Air Defense Gunner, and plenty more can receive bonuses for reenlisting. If your Marine wants more than what they've gotten out of their current MOS, speak to them about the possibility of lateral moves. Certain lat moves, such as 0211 Counterintelligence Human Intelligence and 2336 Explosive Ordnance Disposal, and many more offer bonuses for lat moving. Leaders, these are some important dates you should know to inform your Marines. For more information, go to moradmin 064-23. Your attitude and involvement have a direct impact on the Marines in your charge. It is your responsibility to train, retain, and invest in your Marines. We recognize not everyone is an expert on retention, but the career planner is ready to help you. You should be empowered with the necessary knowledge and resources so you can fully and effectively take care of your Marines. Each Marine has a different level of experience. It is your responsibility as leaders to ensure those coming up behind us are mentored and set up for success. It's a condition inside the Marine Corps that we all believe, some, we believe that all those who are coming behind us already know how to do their job. If I'm a sergeant, I think, well, why doesn't a corporal know how to do his job? Well, he, he's never been a corporal before. He's just a corporal now. You're a sergeant, you should help him understand how to be a corporal. When you're a major and a captain is coming behind you, maybe as a company commander, he's never been a company commander before. So you should help him understand what it's like to be a company commander. 